how exciting it is for you guys to have that relationship. I'll hold it for you. Yeah, no, I definitely, uh, the relationship we have with the Mad Ants is unbelievable. It's a true partnership. Um, you know, we focus on development, and then we also focus on trying to win as many games as possible. This upcoming season, we're extremely excited. We think Brian Levy, Steve Gansey have done an unbelievable job putting together a roster that's going to, you know, have talent available to develop, and someday will, you know, be representing the Pacers in blue and gold. In the meantime, they're going to sit here, do a great job in Fort Wayne, win as many games as possible for the Mad Ants and look good in the Mad Ants blue and gold. Yeah, you mentioned a couple of those uh, players on the two-way contracts that the folks here are going to be getting used to seeing a lot. If you could just kind of break down who we could get used to seeing here. Yeah, so the uh, individuals we have on the two-way contracts are Naz Long and then we have Brian Bowen. So Naz is a player who played in the um, G League last year. He played um, with Utah and then he spent some time with the Utah Jazz as well. Um, He's a player who can play the one and the two, the point guard and the shooting guard. Um, he's got an ability to um, create plays for others, so we're extremely excited about him. We think Nas um, is an NBA player, and we're going to help you know develop him to so we can uh, achieve that goal. And then Brian Bowen's another player. Brian played professionally last year in Australia. Um, he can play multiple positions. He'll play uh, some small forward, some power forward, but Brian, his ability um, or having spent last year in Australia being professionally has kind of put him ahead of the curve and watching him during training camp has been unbelievable because you can compare where Brian is currently to where some of the other rookies are and having that mindset of what it takes to be a pro come in and get your work done on a daily basis has really helped resonate with some of the other players and we're excited about watching Brian here in Fort Wayne and then with the Pacers as well and we think you know he's going to help the Mad Ants uh, achieve some of the goals we have for the upcoming season. You guys brought back some players that folks around here are going to be familiar with. You know, why bring back some of those popular players? Well, we bring them back, obviously, because they have some attraction to this market. Um, but then at the same time, they're extremely good players. Seth Hicks is someone who's going to be, this is uh, his fifth season with the Mad Ants. And Seth is someone um, that knows how to win in the G League. Like I said earlier, we're trying to win as many games as possible this year. And Seth is going to allow us to contribute that goal. Walt Lem is another player who's unbelievable. His ability to um, create his own shot is um, you know, a skill set that you need. When the offense breaks down, having someone that can get to the basket or uh, score points for you is extremely valuable. And then also, uh, I know I mentioned earlier about Naz Long. Naz is a two-way player, so Naz is going to spend some time with the Indiana Pacers. And so when Naz is gone, Walt having the ability to step in and play the point guard or play the two guard, it's you know extremely valuable and it's um, something that we needed. So you know those are two of the reasons that you know we decided to bring Steph back, decided to bring Walt back, just because of how well they fit here. And lastly, uh, it's an exciting time for you guys down in Indianapolis, getting ready to start the season. Um, just what are you guys hoping for this year? Another uh, playoff run, I'm sure, is in the books. Yeah, no, we definitely I mean like making the playoffs um, is something that you know we want to accomplish. Um, you know. If we get to the second round of the playoffs, that would be unbelievable. We're extremely excited about the upcoming season. Um, obviously, we have Victor, Re uh, Victor Oladipo, who's rehabbing in Indy. So once we get him back on the court, um, you know, we'll get the team back to full strength. But, you know, we're extremely excited. We had a really busy offseason. Um, you know, yesterday, we were able to extend Domas. So we're excited about having Domas in the Pacer uniform for the next five years. Um, and, you know, acquiring nine new players last offseason, it's an adjustment. And so depending on how well these, you know, quickly these players can come together, is going to, you know, have some uh, impact on the season. But we're extremely excited. We think uh, we added two-way players, guys that play both offense and defense, and are going to represent the franchise in the entire state in a positive manner. So we're really excited about the upcoming season. Can you recap that uh, timetable for Victor for me? <laughs> I know a lot of people here are, you know, excited to see him back. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, like, you know, with Victor, there's really no set timeline. Um, he's continuing to rehab, and once he's healthy and once he's been cleared uh, by our medical staff, then, you know, he'll be he'll join the teammates and, you know, um, be playing on the court. But, you know, as far as a definite timeline, you know, that's still in the air. We're just, you know, continuing to take it one day at a time and making sure that, um, you know, he's getting healthy. And once he's, you know, cleared all the benchmarks, then we're going to uh, get him on the court. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem, Ross. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem at all. Thank you.